what is going on guys we are back with more world cup and we got pearl versus lax and pearl is playing for team europe and lax is playing for use west europe is up at the moment i think four and one so they have to win two more games as uh, world cup semi-finals and then europe moves on to finals so he brought us Scarflady balance squad oh, let me see probably mega tita right i think it's mega tita yeah so Lex has a Auras looking team, this looks like Gen 6. And why is my the music in my ears so loud? No, I think that I think it's not too loud for you guys. It should be fine. He has um duck he has no duck tree. Usually you see Zard Wipe plus Duggy at the moment. But he has uh, probably Zard Wipe Titar. So pretty interesting. So he has uh Excadrill, so it's probably Z move Excadrill or Z move Tornadoes, but I think it's uh, Z move Excadrill. So Tornadus is gonna knock off the black sludge sledge slash the shed shell. Whatever Iron his Pax has. Uh Pearl might go for uh, if he has toxic he can uh, toxic the torn here. If he doesn't have toxic he can uh, T spike or fish for a scald burn. But yeah, let me think about uh, the matchup. He has taunt, so he's life up torn probably or Z move. Life up or Z move? Yeah, we, it's probably Z move because we don't see live orb. So that's pretty interesting. But he does miss his hurricane. I mean, hurricane is a shitty move; it never hits. And Pearl's just gonna spam Skull here in case that Lex would taunt again. I think he will just Skull again. Is he gonna go Feral? Okay. So eventually he's gonna get a burn. No leftover, so it's probably Chubbleberry. I mean, the thing is, he knocked off the shed shell, but like, he doesn't even have a duck tree. If he had a duck tree, he could trap the packs later, and then Zadwa would go in on Pearl's team. Um, it's like duck tree also traps Tita, even though Tita doesn't even check Zadwa that well because if it runs Focus Blast. So he got up a T spike. Pearl got up a T spike. Lex got up rocks. Then he went in the heat turn on lead sheet and double back in the packs. What did he predict there? Um, predicted the potential band star to come out, I guess. So his other move is gonna be um, his other moves are gonna be recover and toxic or haze in the last slot. It could also be infestation, I'm not sure yet. But your Zard gets walled by this. Zard is not staying in here. Lex's play is. Yeah, Lex doesn't have good answers for Toxapex. Toxapex is really annoying to his team, and it can just spam Skull and eventually uh, burn the Ferrothorn, burn the Alamomola. Yeah, like if Lex had a Duggy, this matchup might be a bit more in his favor because he could trap the packs and eventually probably like the Tren or the Tar too. But like, how I see this, Toxapex just walls his entire team. Besides Drill, and you don't want to switch Drill in on Skull, obviously. I know that Skull only has so many PP, but he still has 20 left, and we all know how Skull, Skull works. Like he's eventually gonna get burned. Like, what do you even switch into Skull here? It's either. It's one of those three months. It's Torn Pharaoh or Alamomola. But yeah, Pharaoh not having lefties is also annoying. I think it showed that it didn't have lefties. Yeah, it didn't have lefties. He got his health back through the least seed. So yeah, he's just hoping that he doesn't get burned here. But yeah, he's gonna get burned eventually. It's scald at 30%, but his Pharaoh's is well trained. So he's gonna lay up hazards. This is a double double hazard ferro zone. So he's gonna force pull to defog eventually. He gets the burn that was about to happen. Um, Tapu Bulu looks also really annoying for Lex to switch into, depending on the set. Like you don't, we don't know yet if it has Stone Age for Zard or if it has uh, Z Superpower for Ferrothorn. 
Okay, so Paul decides he wants to keep the T-Spike up for now to uh, poison Almomolov, Taranta when they come in. He goes, goes for the Scuba Sonic Sky Strike, I assume. Yeah, this is gonna do like 50, 53. So if you can hit a um, Hurricane here, this will this will die. So the pivot, the pivot into Hedra and Otita is pretty obvious here. This is another scenario. He had a, if he had a duck tree, he could just U-turn here, and then he could trap the Titar or the Heatron. But he does U-turn, and he's gonna go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dr he was either going drill or. Yeah, he d he was not going into his own tower because he doesn't want to get poisoned, so that makes the most sense. Yeah, yeah, never mind. I was saying he could also go to tower. I was about to say that, but yeah, drill. If you lag here, like the the landers is pretty obvious, but if Paul makes an aggressive play, it stays in on a rapid spin. Lex is in a bad position if he spins and loses his drill, because then uh, <laughs> yeah, the headers are gonna go back up later. But yeah, Pax is at 56 minus, it takes 24 I think from Hazard. So it's at 32 I think. So yeah, it's not that healthy. So Paul, I think Paul eventually wants to defog. So did he just rapid spin or did he earthquake? Okay, he played it safe. I can understand why he played it safe. But Paul is in such a good position now just by playing it. Just by bringing in the landers. And like the hazards are still there, now the Almola gets poisoned. It's not it's not badly poisoned, it's just So he HBI's that he predicted a torn, I guess. No, he, he that was just his move that he had to break. Yeah, that's just his move that he had to break the Excadrill's balloon. Mm -hmm. So this is a bit risky going hard in the top of Bulu. On a potential scald. I know that there's healing wish support, but still. Um Lex, Lex's only switch in here is either Ferrozone or... Like Tornadus is an option to come in. But I think Tornadus also dies to Bloom Doom potentially. Let me open my calculator. I'm not gonna calc now because I don't want to miss the turn live. But I know that Tornadus would get blown away by a Bloom Doom for sure. If this is like Z Stone Edge, he cannot go to anything. Like even if Bloom Doom doesn't kill the Torn. The Stonish would blow away the the Torn, the Zard. I really want to know how much Bloom would do the Zard, by the way. It's something I'm interested in. Like Z Wood Hammer. Uh, let's say the Zard is not Mega Evolved yet, right? But let's just say Zard Y, because Zard Y doesn't get a defense boost. I don't know what he what did he post. I don't know if I should click on this. But yeah, Woodhammer does a ton. And Z Woodhammer does 50. Oh my god, Z Woodhammer kills the Zard. So yeah, if he has Bloom Doom, you can click it here. And it would kill the Bulu and the Zard. The only thing that could come in is the Pharaoh Zone. But if he has these predicting the Pharaoh Zone, Lex is also in a bad position. Then this Bulu also gets a kill. Depending on his Bulu set, he might just get a kill here. Like if he... Would he be Bloom Doom or would he be Zizu Papa on this team? He's a bit weak to... Mm. Skarmory, I think Zizu Papa makes more sense. So sub SD. I assume. Yeah, I think he's uh, Zizu Papa with SD. You don't see leftovers, right? You only get Grace turn back, yep. Yeah, you can go for the all-out pummeling, but he just goes for the regular one. Yeah, I, I would have gone for all-out pummeling because the regular one doesn't kill. Uh, and yeah, that ah, man, I don't know. Uh, maybe he didn't have all-out pummeling. Maybe he had boom boom. Then it's obviously understandable. But I thought that he would have all-out pummeling on this team because you can sub up on Skarmory, so Skarm can't counter you, and you obviously want all-out pummeling to break Skarm. Woodhammer doesn't break Skarm. Z Woodhammer. I guess you can also just SD up if Scum doesn't have Woolwind, so it's Earthquake, so it's probably Zard X. It, what? I'm not sure. It could also be Zard Y, because Earthquake hits Zard Y's checks like Nihiligo and Heatran. But he's gonna Roost here. 
He goes into Lando assuming that it's um, Zod X and gets it correct. Okay, okay. I wasn't sure. Why did he not roost? That made no sense to me. Then, then don't you want health on this? I guess in case um, the heat room for toxic there. But yeah, Flabus bounces off the Landers, it's just Landers being bulky as fuck. Uh, leftovers obviously is ran to check stuff like uh, Zygot better. Because Rocky Hammond, yeah, it's protect the leftovers set. I know some people prefer U turn over protect. Because, like, one of the things that Landers. Like, U turn is just a great utility that Landers offers. Like, it's just one of those mods, why would you not run it? Like, why would you not run U-turn Landers? But I can understand why he's protect leftovers on this team. A Bandit Zygot is a bit annoying to him, especially. If it has Iron Tail or Toxic to hit the Bulu. I mean, Toxic also hits Landers. But yeah, especially Iron Tail for the Bulu. Um, I don't think... Yeah, they've always showed this entire moveset. So... I don't know if he's Mega or Bennett. I think he's Mega. Mega Tita might win the game because Alamomola is poisoned. But Excadrill can still check it later on. And I mean, what I was saying is when I say uh, Mega Tita can win the game, is he can healing wish it back later. Potentially, he might. He might. If everything is poisoned that he wants poisoned, um, Paul can uh, defog. Because if the Tar comes in to trap the Ladi, oh never mind. If the Tar, if the Tar comes in to trap the Ladi, he cannot defog and then healing wish later because he's gonna get pursued. Uh, I'm assuming he's scarf defog healing wish Draco Psy Shock. His, his stall matchup, yeah, I guess his stall break is like the Bulu, but I don't know if that's enough because stall is like crazy these days. Like, I'm just thinking if his stall matchup was super bad, I think he sh might be his uh, trick on this. But he's also sub trend, which is like, it doesn't break stall, but it's um, definitely annoying for stall. Like, it puts in some work. But yeah, I think he's gonna U turn into the. You turn and second Ferrothorn, or you turn and go Alamomola? Um, cause hard drill is too risky. The thing is, if you go Ferrothorn, it gets to Dragonlance twice, and if it Dragonlance is twice, it might outspeed the XK drill. How fast is Tita? The Mega Edition? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I said Mega Edition. Tyranitar vs. Uh, XK drill. XK drill should run Jolly. So if the Tita is jolly, yeah, Exodus is still faster. I thought it was faster, just wasn't 100% sure. Yeah, I was just thinking if he DDs here and he goes Feral and then he DDs again, if that if this could win the game, but he still doesn't outspeed the drill. And the Sand still has a few turns left. I'm pretty sure you just U-turn here. The question is just into what do you U-turn? Oh yeah, it's it's up. Okay, both timers are going down. So he's Megatar. That does uh, some chip damage. Yeah, so he sacks off the Feral, that makes sense. And yeah, there was no point in Dragon Dancing because he got revenge by the drill anyway, unless you DD th three times and you're not gonna be able to DD three times. And yeah, the drill is gonna. I think he wants to rapid spin here, but he makes the correct play in Iron Heading well. So that was. Um, Iron Head makes sense because the Landers, which. When the Landers was healthy, it could have switched into Iron Head, but he probably didn't have switch ins anymore to Iron Head. And he's not gonna go hard trend. But yeah, I might have rapid spawned there and lost my drill. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I kind of like how Lex played it. Like he 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 doesn't go for spin versus drill when his drill is uh, threatened. But like drill is still threatened by tar. Drill is still threatened by early on. I think versus the trend. Like he outspeeds the mons, but he's threatened by them. So it's honestly risky to go for a spin. Um, I mean, it's honestly risky, but I also he really would have appreciated to get rid of the T swipe before his Alamola came in. But I mean, he's not going to be able to prevent it forever because the Pex is still alive and can get the T spikes back. But yeah, the Ladius is healing, wishing or defogging here because I don't, I don't think Draco gets you that much because if you Draco here, the Tita eats it up and then you get trapped and then you don't have your healing wish left anyway. Like, Tita is still at full. It will take rocks and poison, but, like, Draco obviously doesn't do it. KO. Ladias is pretty weak, especially if it's a scarf. 
I assume a Draco does like maybe 40% to a Tito. Does Lex lose anything? Does he need his Torn? Yeah, I think he needs his Torn. Does Pearl have a double switch that pressures the Tyranitar is my question. Not really. Because his packs is kind of low because of the hazards, it doesn't regen enough. His churn is also low. Yeah, I don't think he has a good double, so he's either Dracoing or... Um, like, he's definitely staying in with this Ladios. Ladios. Yeah, he goes for Healing Wish and... Brings back the Heatran, okay. I thought that he might have brought back the Landorus. But it's Protector and that's really interesting. So he has the T-Spikes, which um, makes sense with... But it sub toxic protect a sub protector and not toxic. Um didn't PDC use this set? Sub flames are protect. I don't remember 100 percent but I think he did. Um the last move is probably off power. Because if you have toxic spikes, yeah, you're not gonna be running toxic on this set too. I just uh said toxic at first because I'm like used to see uh, toxic on trend. But yeah, on this one it doesn't make much sense to have toxic. So his uh, Pex is gonna get bopped by this crunch um, that's banded. Unless I'm super wrong here, it should be banded. And Lando can live one thanks to the Intimidate, and he, if he predicts the Tawny, he can go for HPIs here. He just plays it safe. And now he's gonna go protect and got some leftovers back, get some sand. No, the Sandstorm is gonna end here, right? Because he's not. Yeah, he's not damp rock, so Sandstorm is gonna end. Whoever set up the scent was not damn broke, and he's gonna HP ice here. It's not gonna kill because it's it got nerfed after Gen 5. It's only 60 base power, and a lot of these landers run minus special attack nature. That's at least what I run. Um, I run like a lot of good amount of speed to outspeed opposing Lando. But yeah, I thought Paul was like in a better position, but. The hazards were big for Lex. To the hazards were big for Lex, and the the one play that also was big was him not going for. It. If he did, if he had all out pummeling with the purple bully, he should have gone for it. That was a big turn. Well, like that kind of changed the momentum I feel, because like I think Paul, I thought Paul had that game one. I mean, he's willing to sack his. He sacked off his torn, but he did a lot of damage, and everything is weak now, and he can just click off quick here. No reason to over predict, because it should be in range from Ironhead. Um, I mean, maybe not if he gets leftovers and protects here. But he lost, yeah, he lost the left off, he got knocked off, so never mind. So Lex picks up the win for US West and the score is 4 and 2 now. I mean, basically, even if the Landers still had his leftovers, it didn't matter because. Uh, it couldn't, like, it couldn't heal enough. Like, he could just switch out into Alamomola or something. Like, the combination of mods that Paul had left just couldn't win the game. Yeah, so big things that changed the game were Lex being able to. Get up the hazards and having the trouble berry, which was the trouble berry was obvious because he didn't have leftovers. But I'm well, I think he's on the wood hammer because he should have gone for all the pummeling if he had it. Unless I'm missing something. But thank you guys for watching. We have a lot more games coming up today, and I mean I was kind of rooting for Pearl, but it's also um, it's cool for the um, so that the series gets more close. Or, so that the series is still interesting, because if it was 5 and 1 now for Europe, then it would almost be over. And so it's 4 2 now, so West is not out, like West can still come back. And in the East versus Spain series that I'm gonna be covering later, I think the score is a 4 and 3 for East at the moment, so it's also close. So stay tuned for that, thank you for watching, and goodbye.